Sharpen pencils, clear your desk. It's time to increase your nerdiness with Derek. Why, hello. I'm Derek, and I'm here to introduce a new series to help you, yes, you, increase your nerdiness. And these are sort of geeky tips on video making and whatever else comes up in the course of our studies. And you can save a lot of money through education because I see all the time people say, go buy After Effects, it's the best way to do this. But I have seen ways that are just as good and better in some cases using free software. So I kind of want to connect you. I, I want to be a bridge between the nerd world and the human world right there. That's kind of uh, what I'm going for. But yeah, you can save a lot of money by increasing your nerdiness. Uh, so there you go. Anyway, I'm kind of gearing this stuff for not the kind of person who's like, I don't want to deal with what button do I push? This isn't for you. I'm kind of making it for the person who you're into video making and you sort of want to know more. You know, I, I don't want to just hand you a gun. I want to teach you how to shoot. I'm a great humanitarian. Yes, I am. So anyway, these aren't going to be one size fits all settings because frankly, I can't tell you the best settings. The best settings depend on you and what your needs and your budget are. So I, again, I just want to help you figure out that stuff on your own and hopefully learn more about the equipment that you use because I don't care what fancy program you have to make videos and stuff there are a couple of those little settings and buttons that you just don't know what the heck they're for well I'm the guy to tell you what the heck they're for anyway today on the show we're also going to be getting into uh, hacking your DVD player to turn it into a multi-region player so yeah let's get down to that Anyway, here's the deal. We have two kinds of TV in the world, basically. There's uh, NTSC, for those of us in the U.S., America, or Canada, which is also in North America. So, it, yeah, it's kind of in America, too. And then there's the rest of the world, which uses PAL. So what are you to do? Let's say you live here in America, and for some odd reason, I don't know why, you have acquired a PAL... DVD and you want it to work on your DVD player. Well, the conventional wisdom says, well, make sure you go out and buy a, a multi-region DVD player. But in a lot of cases, you don't have to do that. I mean, first of all, you can play it on your computer. That's the easiest way with VLC, for example. But many DVD players have a way for you to quote, hack, unquote, the player to open it up so it'll play this disc. So, for example, I have a player. I just, like, went down to Walmart and got a DVD player. I put this disc in. It says Invalid Region or something like that. All you have to do is go to videohelp.com slash DVD hacks. I want to make sure I get it right. And there's a list, and you can search for your DVD player, and many times the player you already have in your own house can be hacked. And it, it's not like... You're hacking and now it's an act of terrorism or anything that it, it's kind of like entering a cheat code on your video game That's basically what it is. You push a few buttons it unlocks a player and you can play DVDs in another from another region and this could be useful if you're in America and maybe you have relatives from overseas staying here or if you're the Prime Minister of Britain and President Obama gives you an NTSC DVD <laughs> which won't play on your players. Well, hopefully, if Pri Mr. Prime Minister, if you're watching, this will help you be able to watch that copy of Gone with the Wind that Obama sent you. So there you go. I'm just here to help. I am I am enriching the world here on Increase Your Nerdiness. Anyway, if you have a question that you'd like to see addressed or some kind of tutorial, the contact is Derek at... DerekForPresident.com. So I look forward to hearing your question, and maybe it'll be here on a future version of Increase Your Nerdiness. I'm Derek W. Truesdale saying goodbye. <laughs> Sharpen pencils, clear your desk. It's time to increase your nerdiness. <laughs>